How's it going by and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Noble. Now, we are on our way to this little camp here, as you can see on the screen. Uh, it should be a Kuman camp. Uh, I recorded twice up until now, between the last episode and this one. Both started and both ended very quickly because I was like, oh, whoops. So I started in my house. And on my way down the hill, I turned to look at the castle. And there was a chunk missing. I'm like, oh my gosh, i got to start recording. Wow. Hey, look, this castle's already been hit. Look how much damage it's taken. The game forgot to render in the entire castle. It, it, as soon as it popped into existence, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was like, stop recording. <laughs> so I wanted to keep that so I could just be like, yeah, that's me being stupid. And then I got to the castle. I'm like, you know, starting my video there. And I ended up uh, scrapping that one because I'm like, man, i got to go all the way over here. And do my recording, you know, start here and then run, 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 run. I'm like, that's going to be boring. I'm going to skip it. So I was talking. All of a sudden, this guy walks over the wall, looks at me, pulls out his bow, goes, draws back. And I'm like, ah, give me a second. <laughs> Pop him right there. But, uh, yeah, so I was like, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the this place and start the episode. But then I came across this, and I'm like, eh, uh, better uh, at least show that some, uh, that is not an accident. That is a definite murder. Because uh, that wasn't done by the town's uh, uh, executioner. That was done by somebody in the secrets of the woods. Maybe a kuman who killed another one who up here at the camp. Didn't want anybody to know that Buddy didn't come back because uh, he got rid of him. We're getting close now, so the horse is having a hard time coming up this hill. Best we get off now. I'm gonna park you here at Goofy 3, so I gotta remember where I parked. You found him? Good job, Bunny. You're my best spies. Yeah, we've got our bow out. I have to look down and make sure the bow is actually in hand. I've done that before. I'm like, alright, it's time to start firing arrows. You probably see in the episode where I'll like suddenly just take a punch and it's like, wait, why did he punch? Well, that's because I thought I had a bow armed, and I'm like, aw, oh, darn it. This marker should be right on the money due to the fact that I can actually see the campsite. So there it is. There's that poor first bastard. And his friend, the second bastard. Still hear the artillery shells raining down. Ooh, hit him in the back of the knee. Does that mean he's married now? That went over his uh, shoulder. Not good. He's going to see me. You're in the wrong. No, I'm not. You acted like I hit you in the head. That time I hit you in the head. <laughs> ah, you guys are doing a great job with the acrobats. Wait, it still has cross swords. Somebody else still here? I better change weapons. I don't see him. Ooh. Fancy. Man, these bandits got a lot of good stuff on them. This episode isn't going to be entirely bandit killing like last time. Hmm. Better hunting arrow is not worth it. Marigold is. Always is. You know, and I have a ridiculous amount of them at this point. I mass produced them at one point. I think I was in the college in that episode where I actually mass produced uh, marigold potions. So that was always a nice thing. Doesn't mean I don't need a few more right now. More money for my pockets. Hmm. 
Oh, you gotta love a little garden over here. A woodland garden. So this is Comfrey, okay. That's Belladonna. Oh, look at that. Well, I guess some bandits found this guy, too. Yeah, quite the accident getting shot twice in the back like that. Yeah, I have a feeling this was related to the guy downstairs that we saw hanging over the uh, uh, shallow grave. All right. Well, I said we're going to do something a little different, and that is we're actually going to head back down here, and I'm hoping by the time I get down there, I can ask her out on another date. So, let's call our horse over for speed. Oh, hi, horse. Hi, horse. Hi, horse. Hi, horse. Hi, horse. It's off to go. We go, of course. Do, 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 do. It'll take a few hours for us to get there. But yeah, I mean, there, there's no real closer uh, bandits. There's a few above uh, near Scallets. I'm looking at the map right now, and I'm like, I don't want to do a whole another episode of Hunting Bandits. As much fun as it was, I figured we at least start with Hunting Bandits, just in case there's nothing more interesting in this episode. That being said, hopefully it'll be something of interest. Eh. Worst case scenario, there's two bandit camps closer to uh, uh, Vernesk. <laughs> Go figure with all the bandits we're hiding. Now that I come to realize it, yeah, the bandits up near Privoslavets and Scalets, and then the other bandits are over there near uh, Vernek, where uh, the other bandit camp was. So go figure, that's where all the camps were. I guess I never really realized when I first played the game that you know all the bandits seem to be correlated in those general locations. Is what it is, I guess. A wafer? Absolutely. Let's examine this person. I'm gonna examine him real close and be like, hey, you wafer. Where are you? My good sir, you look like you've uh I'm poor. <laughs> good for you! Or bad Please, for you. Sir, help me. <laughs> What's happened to you? I do need to put the rest of my armor on. Kuttenberg, but as you can see, I'm barefoot. My feet are fade to the bone. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir? So I can swathe my feet at least. Um. I could give him my shoes. <laughs> Peasants are supposed to be barefoot. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather have shoes? What do you mean, sir? Just what I said. I'll give you a pair of shoes. I hate to give up my silent shoes, but I can always get more. I'm heading over to Rat's High right now. you imagine that? Somebody riding in on horseback and night gear pulls his shoes off and hands them to you? Man, this guy would be like, oh my gosh. And Thank I gave you, him sir. silent shoes. He's, he's got the beginnings of an assassin. God shall repay you. Anytime. Take care. Can I have a hug? No. Okay. You better put on those shoes. Look at me. I'm barefoot now, too. Our weird, nasty looking feet. Well, probably a good time to actually put on our uh, outfits. Actually, as dirty as everything is, let's uh, let's get cleaned up first before we actually go and talk to uh, anybody. Yeah. Meow. I mean, the benefit of uh, fast travel is number one, they don't go this fast, so that's why it takes so long to get to places. But uh, you don't have to do it yourself. The problem is, uh, you don't get to go this fast, so uh, there's the chance that it'll take you a lot longer to get to a location than if you're speeding along yourself. See, I gotta get this outfit cleaned up before I get the oh. other one cleaned up. What were you doing? There's people walking here. 
Sure are, and my feet are dirty. All right, got the first outfit cleaned up. We are mighty dirty. Yeah, put those away. I'll go buy me some shoes over there at the, uh... You see, we, we're always constantly dirty like this. I think it's only allowing us to clean our upper body in the trough. So, uh, if we want to get truly clean, successfully clean, we're going to have to do some other stuff. I do have a ring. Maybe we can give that to her to make her happy if we can't ask her out on another date. I was hoping we get one more date so in before. What are we to do with you, Henry? I've brought you something. Yeah, it'd be horrible to give her Bianca's ring. It's like, yeah, it's my thing, but I'll give it to you. I wonder if you give it to her. She's like, isn't this Bianca's? Wow. Is this for me? This must have cost you a fortune, but I like it very much. Thank you. You really mustn't bring me any more gifts like that, or you'll no. spoil me. I have stolen, I mean, um, I procured so many things I want to give you. How about another little outing with me? You never give up, do you? That would be great, only not just now. Come and see me in a day or two. Ah! Uh, all right. There's some other things you want to talk about, so let's talk about them real quick before I go and buy shoes and leave. I'd like to know... That's all. Those aren't that important. Yeah, we're out. Sorry, baby girl. Daddy's got to work. I hear you ringing. Must be noon. Watch. I'm going to get over to the shoe store, and it's going to be like, oh, by the way, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, go on a date. Like, dag nabbit. We'll get cleaned up here in a little bit. Get all that dirt and grime off of us before we head back to the battlefield because I don't want to be late for the final fight if it is the final fight, you know? Hello, citizen. It is I, the guy who rides horses into people. Ha ha ha! Sorry! Oh, yeah. Ba ba da ba 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 da. Da, 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 da. I'm hopefully not going to get copyright struck. Should be this one. Because everyone looks at this sign, and the first, the first thing you think of is, this guy makes shoes! Or really weird flamingos. Yeah, really, really weird flamingos. I would not look at that sign and go, oh, that's a shoe shop. I'd be like, what is that? You, Shoesmith. Welcome, Henry. I need shoes. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. That's Sir Dirty Knight to you, sir. Man. God be with you. Hmm. Silent shoes. I mean, quiet, dark shoes. We'll go with this set this time. They're worth more. And... Fourteen and twelve, seventeen and fifteen. So yeah, these are probably a little bit better. And I'll wear them out. Literally, I have to wear them out in order to repair them to get the benefit of the bonus. What was it? The walk a mile in the shoe bonus. <laughs> it was like what eighteen episodes or so ago that I uh, 
uh, wore my shoes around. Probably not even that long ago. It was before the uh, before I went to the monastery. I know that. But uh, yeah. Have a nice day. I'll take the small door since you're blocking the big one, dudes. Ah, oh, crap. My horse got fat. Sorry. I'm gonna take the non-horse doorway. So get turned around. You guys are seriously blocking the way. Could you move? Yeah, thank you. I will watch where I'm going. You watch where you're not moving at all. I'm still really bad at the hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat in this game. Like, I really need somebody to sit down and, you know, just go back to start the game where I'll be like, okay, I really need to sit down and... Because I, I don't remember how to counter. How I you, barely hey, remember how to block with a shield. So this guy's the game master. He's the one in charge of the new arena battles that we got, uh, uh, recently got released. But, I don't have the... Uh... Are you okay there? Wow, that, that was interesting. Uh, yeah, so the arena battles are available now for the uh, just the fun of fighting without killing, I guess. And, uh, well, without Sir Hanish here, I can't actually start the actual quest. So, that sucks. So I would have done that. And there is the expan... Wow, I really went up high. I don't have it. The expansion pack of the... Uh, uh, Privoslavitz, uh, uh, building a new city. I don't have that one. If I do pick it up sometime in the future, I might go back and do some recordings and just, you know, do a Privoslavitz build. You know, any other expansions. I know there's a Hans Copeland yeah. one where I'm supposed to play as him, I think, but I don't think that one's out yet either. Sorry I keep doing this, but my mustache is, like, curling up and it's, like, tickling in my nose. And it's getting distracting. <laughs> But yeah. Watch, the final battle is going to be in the middle of raging, and it's going to be, oh, you can go on another day to be like, Jag Nabbit, bad timing. And seriously, if I wasn't yeah. trying to uh, put content out, as I said before, I probably would have already done all the dating and probably been married by now. Who knows? I somewhat wonder if the old guy's going to get killed, though. Uh, the one whose wife is being held captive. Because that'd give Henry a chance to marry into a noble line, you know? He already laid with the lady of the house, if you know what I mean. I totally clicked the wrong button. Why did I do that? Goodbye. You're not even the one I'm looking for. Stop standing near the uh, bathhouse, lady. I'd like to uh, order something here. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Might be a good time to go for that shaven haircut, though. Gotta see if we can get this looking going on. Hmm. What's this one look like? Do we get to see it, or...? Oh, it's just a slightly thicker goatee. Uh, no deal. <laughs> Let me get that hair back off. It's like, where did you find that anyway? Woodsman sounds like it's a thicker beard, but I'm betting it's not as thick. Yeah, it's it's a lot better. I like that. Mine is a. Uh, I haven't shaved lately, so it's a little thin. I'd like that. Thank you. Not quite thick yet, but then again, I don't really let it grow in all the way. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Did she take my beard off in order to verify it? Alright. I had meant to do one of these episodes of when it first came out as well about the uh, haircuts and stuff. I'd like to uh, order something here. And what is it you'd like? The manliest haircut you can give me. Ironically, my hair's not even up right now, but I happen to know... Uh... It should be here. God be with you. Is the battlefield perm? I'm not sure. 
Oh, no, that's definitely not it. <laughs> Henry, the shaved head. It was Eastern influence. That might be the one I'm looking for. That's more like what I have normally. I'd like that. Thank you. And mine usually has a ponytail, but my hair isn't up in a ponytail right now, so. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. I guess we'll be able to see it in cutscenes. Won't really see it uh, since there's no third-person point of view. Let's eh, see if we can take his helmet and stuff off. Yeah, you really can't see him. Nah. Was it worth it? At least not the second. But, like I said before, we'll see it eventually. During cutscenes! Because all the characters take their helmets off during cutscenes. Alright, back to the main thing at hand, because, quite frankly, it's as much fun as it would be to stick around. I'm not going to wait a day and then find out, oh, you need to go back to the canon, or not canon, the uh, trebuchet, but also you go on a date. Like, ah, man, love or war? Love and war? War is love? Love is war? I don't know. Hmm. Whew. I find I drink a lot more water when I have those little squirt bottles, you know, like the Mio's and whatnot. Not sponsored by by any chance, but uh, you know, I can go through. I can hit several of these bottles a day easily when I have those. I think on a work day I usually go through about five of them, but like now I might go through like three or four on a day I'm off. So yeah. It's nice when you can relax, but, you know, you don't make any money when you're relaxing. At least since my job is my job and I don't have, this is my job, which would be nice. It sounded rough. It'd be nice to have YouTube as a permanent job, but I just don't have the kind of fan base that would be required for such a thing. And nothing. Quiet, chicken. Anybody else in the battlements want to fight me? I'm open to oh, fence. Ah, that's a wall. I'm open to battlefield conflicts. Anybody looking to fight? Man, no wonder that rooster got killed. Another bit of chickens on the side of the wall. That includes the bad guys. Hey. So. Let's realize I have a new thing. Oh, I can't see. It's not showing up in my little chart. Buffs. There's going to be another buffs. Freshly shorn. Use the bathhouse service and the bath winches skill. The scissors, razors, made you a new man. Your charisma is temporary plus one. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Basically, I'm fancy and fresh. I do like your jacket. I'd like to have one for myself, but oh well. Oh! I never noticed this. <laughs> I guess this is where they're uh, getting the blocks ready to chisel into, uh, what's it called, uh, throwing stones. This, I guess, is their area where they're prepping things. That's neat. we got plenty of square blocks laying everywhere, but that area just looks like it's set up for uh, milling. Good day to you too, my good sir. With you, lad. What can I do for you? 
Hopefully it makes this episode a little more interesting. No? Oh, dang it. That's why we started with murder, because I had a funny feeling that this episode wasn't going to be as interesting. And so you're the guy. I never actually went to the bath, did I? Well, that sucks, but oh well. Hmm, still at 100%, but gotta go back to armor anyway. There was precious little in it, and we could have lost everything. That's how it goes in war. But God stood by us. And in the end, they're nothing but a bunch of filthy cutthroats. They're sneak thieves and assassins. But does that make them real soldiers? Well, they're apt to wait till a man nips off into the bushes to relieve himself, lifts up his chainmail tunic and stab him in the back. Personally, I'd rather face a proper soldier. Because you know just who you're up against. That's probably why Toth is giving us such a hard time. I should have three more to hand over, so we'll go ahead and do that. So many. My lad, you're like the smiting right hand of God. Uh. I'm here. Can't you see we're still bombarding? You came too soon. Uh. I'd be with you. All right, I'm gonna go take a nap in one of these tents or something. I don't know. This looks like my tent here. I'm very fancy. Thanks for giving me such a nice house. Oh look, fancy bed. Just the perfect place for a bastard son of a noble. Welcome. Can't sleep any longer. It's like, eh, 12 hours is plenty. <laughs> The funny thing is, though, my nourishment should really be really a lot Therese lower. What's doing now? Oh, I stop by and see her again. I enjoyed look, it last time. I can go on a date again. Oh. I'm just gonna end it here, because uh, maybe I can walk back and actually get the date on sometime in the day before the battle starts. Or, maybe not, because it looks like... Okay, I thought maybe you had actually done something important with your lives. You guys just... Are just gonna stand around or what? All right, let me go look at the wall again. Make sure everything's falling down or not falling down or whatever. That doesn't look like it from here. Gotta say though, I hate to say it, this episode wasn't as impressive as I was hoping it was gonna be. But then again, that is exactly the reason I started with uh, a battle rather than starting with anything else. But, you know, it is what it is. So, Thank everybody for stopping by and joining me. Hopefully in the next episode or two will be the last one. But until then, take care, be safe out there, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.